This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're coming to you from the Bio CEO and Investor Conference 2018 here in New York City. I have with me today Dr. Shankar Misunuri from Acugen. It's a private company. I want to welcome you to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley, for having me on. It's good to have you. Let's get started with an overview of the company. Acugen is a biopharmaceutical company focused in ophthalmology products. Okay, let's get a history of the company, if you would. History started about four years ago. The co-founder, I'm the co-founder of the company, another co-founder, Dr. Compella, who is a professor at the University of Colorado Health Sciences, has invented the two biologicals we have in our pipeline, OQ100 and 200. And uh, he actually went to the same undergraduate institution that I went because of the relationship and he invented these two novel molecules at the time. And since there is a significant need, and ophthalmology is a growing area, uh, there is so much of unmet medical need. Based on the assessment at the time, uh, we have started the company. Now, I want to know more about the science, where it's from, what it does, and why it was developed. So the science behind uh, two biologics we got uh, from the co-founder, one of them um, is uh, RQ100. It's a isoform of a lens epithelial derived growth factor. It uh, protects the photoreceptors from degeneration. So therefore, it has uh, several implications, including we do have a orphan drug designation targeting retinitis pigmentosa, which is a huge orphan disease in the US and elsewhere. About 100,000 patients in US alone struggle from this disease. It's a blindness disease, it's inherited disease, and people who get uh, retinitis pigmentosa when they're diagnosed in teens, by the time uh, they're in mid 40s, most of them are legally blind. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. There is another product which we uh, got from Professor Compella's lab, uh, which is RQ200. It's a tumstatin transferrin fusion protein. It targets integrin receptor on active endothelial cells and triggers native anti-angiogenic process. Once again, this product is targeted for wet macular degeneration, very, the very distinct mechanism of action compared to two products in the marketplace, such as Lucentis and Ilia. What is the current treatment for these diseases? For retinitis pigmentosa, it's an orphan product. Currently, there are no drugs in the market to treat the disease. For wet macular degeneration, there are two products in the marketplace, one from Genentech called Lucentis. Second one is Ilia from Regenron. So what are the targeted indications? The targeted indications are treatment of retinitis pigmentosa in the case of RQ100, and the second one is treatment of wet macular degeneration. Where is the company right now with clinical trials? The company actually expanded from those two original products we got the company started with. We actually licensed in collaboration with the University of Illinois Chicago, another uh, famous and very credible professor, Dr. Jane. He's an ophthalmologist, he also has a translation lab, and uh, he does a lot of work with NEI, National Eye Institute. In collaboration with him, we actually um, got two products in the pipeline. RQ300 and 310. They both are uh, repurposed drugs, which uh, we have a very strong patent portfolio covering uh, various ocular surface diseases, including ocular GVHD and the dry eye disease. So we have RQ300, which is a nano emulsion proprietary formulation we developed uh, using bromonidine targeting ocular graft versus source disease we are the first company to ever receive orphan drug designation from the FDA. The second product is a bromonidine in combination with low-dose steroid targeted for dry eye. This product is currently going through phase two clinical trials and the data is uh, going to be available at the end of this quarter. So that these two products, RQ300 and 310, are targeted to enter into phase three clinical trials this year. In addition to that, we are planning to move the RQ100 program, the biological for retinitis pigmentosa we talked about into clinic by the end of the year. What's your background? My background is I have a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences from University of Connecticut. 
I got an MBA from Duke, and I worked in big pharma and biotech. I think I spent many of my years uh, learning and really getting a lot of experience at Wyatt Biotech and Pfizer. And uh, I had an opportunity to work in R&D operations and on the business side in strategy. And from there, I started a biotech company uh, called Neuron. I ran it for about three and a half years before I took a little break and founded Oxygen. Now, what are the value catalysts moving forward? The value catalysts are, um, there are two programs which are late stage this year, OQ300 and 310. And once again, those programs are considerably low risk in the sense because they're repurposed for a different disease. They have a good safety record. They're already being used in the clinic for different diseases. And they are going to move into phase three clinical trials. These trials are relatively uh, um, uh, straightforward and also uh, less duration compared to back of the eye clinical trials. They're targeted to be completed next year. That means OQ300, which is an orphan drug, if it moves according to our plans, if we are successful in the phase three clinical trial, should be in the market by 2020. And uh, the dry eye product will follow uh, within a year after that. In addition to that, the biologicals are entering into clinical trial, one of them this year, and then the OQ200 is going to enter into clinical trials next year. In addition to that, we actually added a, um, a new uh, portfolio of products called Modifier Gene Therapy, uh, OQ400, to our pipeline at the end of last year. This technology, uh, we got it from Harvard Med School Chief and Sci Institute. This is a remarkable technology where it can really help many patients with blindness diseases. You know what? Let's get your website out for more information if you would. It's www.oxygen.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Shankar Misanuri from Oxygen, O C U G E N. It's a private company. I'm Shelly Kraft, this is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live from the Bio CEO and Investor Conference 2018 here in New York City. Doctor, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Shelly. You're welcome.